No, policing has been a big topic across the country these last few years, and it continues to be one here in Lubbock. So today, LPD has released its 2021 racial profiling numbers, which gives us an idea of who gets pulled over here and if those stops are proportionate to our city's racial demographics. KLBK Skylar Soto is here to break it all down for us. Skylar? Matt, this is a copy of that report and has about 28 pages worth of data from last year, which have to be submitted to the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement every year. It's broken down into several categories, including if an officer knew the driver's race before making a stop. This is a sight many of us see every day here in Lubbock any other traffic stop. In a 2021 report released by the Lubbock Police Department, it tells us which demographic of people were actually pulled over. And out of 39,000 drivers, LPD says race was only known beforehand in 1,100 of them. If there's another call for service that is happening and somebody gives a description, we see that car leaving, we know the person that's driving it and we make that stop. That would be an instance where we would know the race of the person before we made the stop. A question a lot of you may have, are these numbers proportionate to the city's racial demographics. According to the U.S. Census, whites make up 76 percent of Lubbock's population and 47 percent of traffic stops. Hispanics, 36 percent of the population and 36 percent of traffic stops. Our black community represent 8 percent of Lubbock, but nearly 15 percent of drivers that are pulled over. Asians and indigenous peoples make up 3.5% of Lubbock's population and about 1.3% of traffic stops. It lines out fairly evenly with the percentage of Lubbock. I mean, there's nothing that jumps out and is glaringly says that this group is stopped way more than this group should be, that kind of thing. These numbers are pretty similar from 2020's report where more drivers were stopped and Lubbock police says there's a reason for that. And that's because 2020 was a COVID year. So like everything else in the world, it affected policing as well. Um, we weren't making as many citizen contacts. We weren't uh, making as many traffic stops simply as in an effort to, to not spread COVID. Um, and so we did make more stops, but the percentages for this year uh, pr remain pretty much the same for uh, the consolidated data. But as a department, this is something that we provide to the state, we show to the city council, and we display on our website, and anyone can view it there. It even it goes as far back to 2012. And those of you who are wondering about what the report does tell us and who was stopped in comparison to men and women, about 40% of those 39,000 stops were women and just 60% were men. And once again, you can find this full report over on the LPD website. Matt and Terry. Scholar, thank you very much. After